Welcome back. What an amazing time we had with the Lord over the last few episodes. I have received so many testimonies of people really seeing how God is taking them from where they are to where God wants them to be. And I believe even for you personally that God has really worked in your character, in your heart to really be a heart, to, to really have a heart to serve and that you will see how God is transitioning you taking you from where you are now to where God is planning to take you. And today, as we're looking at the life of Joshua, we're going to be talking about preparation. Joshua didn't only just cross over. It wasn't just an impulsive act of, okay, this is the right time, let's do it. But we read in, in Joshua chapter 1 verse 11, and I want to read that scripture to us. It says, Joshua was speaking to the leaders and he says, Go throughout the camp and command the people saying, Prepare your provisions, for within three days you are to cross this river Jordan to go in to take possession of the Lord your God, well, of the land what the Lord your God is giving you to possess as an inheritance. And when Joshua sent this command, we see that the people obeyed. And the people started to prepare to cross the Jordan. And many times we expect God just to do everything. We just want the angels to move everything in place. We want God to do everything. And we just want to, want to sit back and relax. Or we just do what we want to do. And then we, we expect of God to just bless whatever we have done. But we learn from the life of Joshua, he didn't suddenly command the people to just cross. There was a time of preparation. And I believe that God is taking each one of us through a time of preparation. Personally, just like he prepared Moses, for Moses it was 40 years in the desert. He prepared Elijah for three and a half years before he had to face the false prophets. He prepared Joseph. He prepared Abraham and we see that even Jesus went into the wilderness for 40 days where he was filled with the Holy Spirit and where the Father prepared him. He was tempted personally by the devil, but that prepared him for his ministry. And many times we, we feel in that time of preparation that God has left us. Why do we have to wait? Why do we have to go through a time of challenge but through every time of preparation God is taking you to a place of more intimacy a place of more revelation a place of just encountering him personally don't be angry when you have to go through these seasons but know that God knows the best and no matter what it is God make all things work together for those He love and for those He call. And we know that we are all called by God. In John 15, 16, He clearly says, Long before we chose Him, He already chose you. So whatever season you have been going through, as part of your personal preparation, take a decision to start embracing what God is doing. You know, we, we tend to so easily blame the devil for everything and see the devil in everything but sometimes God is just wanting us to to just stop for a moment and just wait you know Joshua gave them three days and maybe we might think well three days is very short in comparison to the 40 years they already spent but can you imagine after 40 years you suddenly stand in front of the Jordan you are ready to cross and then you get told to wait another three days. I'm sure there must have been people that were disappointed. I'm sure it was not just an easy preparation for them. But they did prepare. And in that preparation, they all crossed over. Not one was left behind. 
And I know that in this time, God is preparing us as a body of Christ, as his sons and daughters, to be ready for what the world needs. Because we carry the answer. We carry the hope. Christ in us is the hope of glory. Without him, we can do nothing. Without him, there's no difference between us and the world. But with Christ in us, we truly can be the light. So prepare in this next season, during the next three days, what God wants to do in your life. And maybe it won't be three physical days for you, but three days also speak of resurrection. There were many times in the word of God that we read about three days. Jonah was in the fish for three days. Jesus was resurrected after three days. Joshua asked the people to prepare for three days. Don't limit what God is planning for you in this next season. In preparation, it meant they had to do something physically. Some of us have become passive. You have maybe given up on your dream. For example, if God has called you as a prophet, if God has called you to prophesy, have you surrounded yourself with prophetic people? Have you done prophetic training? Have you prayed and asked God to teach you the Holy Spirit to reveal to you the prophetic things? An eagle fly with eagles. A lion walk with lions. And many of us are eagles, but you try to be best friends with a horse. And then you get frustrated. You cannot be prepared well when you are with the wrong people, with the wrong crowd. It's not because they are wrong or evil or not good enough. But God has a specific call on your life. He has chosen you to do something. And I just feel that there's many of you that don't see this breakthrough because you are not preparing well. Make a decision to find out what is what God speaks concerning your future. What is the scroll that God has written concerning who you are? Because if you just live day by day, hoping for the best, you will be frustrated. But when you know what God has planned, and when you know how to prepare, when you can surround yourself with the right company, with the right people, you will see the progression and you will cross over to what God has for you. Maybe you have been so demoralized. You feel it's not worth it anymore. Then I want to speak a word of encouragement over your life today. And I want to declare that nothing can change the plans of God. Who God said you are before the foundation of the earth is still true. No matter what you've done, no matter where you've been, no matter how long it has taken you to get to this place, God is still speaking to you today. And God's plan is still waiting for you to just step into it. So make a decision today. Are you going to remain passive? Are you going to be over eager and impulsive? Or will you prepare your heart? Will you come into the presence of God and hear God's voice? See what God sees. Declare what God speaks. Do what God do, is doing. That is what Joshua did. And I believe as we do that, we follow the example of Jesus. Because even Jesus said, I only do what I see my Father do. I only say what I hear my Father say. And when we look at the life of Jesus, He went into that place of preparation daily. The Word says, while everyone else was still sleeping, Jesus would get up early and go and seek the Father. He would go and inquire of what God was saying for each and every day. That is our preparation. The provisions, I believe, was not just physical provision. We need to prepare by knowing the heart of God for every day. Getting the strategy from God on a daily basis. 
knowing what God is releasing so that we can work with what God has given and not try and do it in our own strength. Maybe you are giving up or maybe you felt like giving up. Please, kneel down right now and just say, Lord, here am I. I believe, Father God, what you say of me is true. I believe that what you have planned for me is still not plans to harm me, but to give me a hope and a future. And I want to surrender, Lord. And I want to pray and declare that I want to prepare. I want to be ready for what you want to do next. Thank you, Jesus. I believe that as we said this prayer and as you kneel down and surrender to God, it is Him, it is His love for you that will take you over this Jordan, that will take you from where you are now to where He wants you to be. Don't forget to make time for God's presence and whatever He tells you to do, just do it. Whatever He asks you to say, just say it. Be active, wait on His time, and I believe you will all transition from glory to glory. May this be a week of seeing God's goodness like never before. God bless you. See you next time.